it's time for our daily holiday. We are marking National Kite Flying Day. Oh, okay. Isn't it? It's kind of odd to me that it is in February, but if weather permits, you can go outside and fly a kite today. Maybe maybe a little bit better conditions south uh, of that, here, yep, well yep, yep. south of here. But you, you kind of associate kite flying by you know spring. Summer that's months, I, of course, yeah, that's especially the spring with all the wind that we tend to get. So. Right. It can take you back to your childhood. The optimal wind speed for kite flying is a light breeze 5 to 20 miles per hour. So now when you're giving mm. your forecast, when it's in between 5 to 20 miles per hour, you can say perfect I, kite flying weather. I would weather. think 5 would be a little bit too light, maybe 10 to 20. Cause, and the, but I, I know you don't want it too strong because I remember as a kid oh, yeah. trying to <laughs> Hold on. literally like hang it on and you're, the string is just <laughs> waiting to break. Right. In fact, I think I lost a kite or two with the too strong a wind. So if you can't get outside today, maybe you should try making your own kite. And there are tutorials online so you can make the kite, get it ready to go okay. for when there is the perfect day. You can give it a try to fly. So there you go. All right. We're going to get a check on our